our arms out the side. I'll say it again because Lenny just started to record. Uh, first exercise, arms are out to the side and all we're doing is making small forward circles. We're doing each exercise for 35 seconds. We have a 10 second break in between exercises and then a two minute break after all of 12 exercises and we're doing four sets. Ah, okay, I'm starting this. This is your Tabata workout. Here we go. It'll beep and you'll know when to start. Here we go. Exercise. Small forward circles. Doesn't have to be fast, just small. We're getting blood pumped into our shoulders right now. Good, you guys look great. It's like the flying nun. We'll start taking off soon. Be good. So you say that to anybody under 40, they have no idea what you're talking about. It's great. Good, just forward circles. I know your arms are getting tired, because mine are. Horizontal tricep extensions. Back of our fists are together. Bring our arms straight out and back together. Atta girl. Good, out and back. Good, out and back. This is an exercise for your triceps, which is the muscle behind your arm. We're getting rid of the grandma jiggle. Good, 10 more seconds. Nice. I like it. Keep your arms parallel to the ground. We're making Y movements with our arm. We're gonna make a Y with our arm. So arms just go up in a Y. Here we go. Exercise. Y shape. Good. Why? Because I said so, that's why. Good. Control the movements up and down. Keep your arms as straight as possible. I know everybody has their limitations, but it's okay. Good. Good. Good, I'm gonna pause it here for one second because I wanna show you the next exercise. We are doing crunches on our side. We're holding a weight in one hand. We're not going truly to the side. We're going sort of towards the knee to cause those oblique muscles to work. Okay, so not to the side, sort of towards our knee, bring the weight towards the floor, then come back up and do it again and keep doing that. And then eventually we're gonna do the other side as well. Here we go. In nine seconds, we start. We're doing the right side only first. Weight is only in your right hand. Good. Good. Breathe, breathe out when you exert. When you breathe out, you'll be able to go further because there's less air in your lungs. Good. Russian twists, only left. Sitting at the front of our chair, leaning back, we are only going to the left side. To the left only. To the left, to the left, to the left. Lois, you'll be singing on the break. It's okay. Just making sure you know. Good. Keep your nose in line with the weights. Don't just move your arms. We're doing that same hanging arm movement towards our left knee by going down to the floor. Left arm only. Exercise. Good. 
Brunch that side. Give that hourglass shape. Very nice. Keep going, guys. Nice and slow. Keep your head up. Don't look down. Don't want to potentially hurt your back. And by looking down, you round your back, which could cause you to have some irritation in your low back. So keep your heads looking straight out. And you guessed it, Russian twists going now only to the right. So sit at the front of your chair, lean back. Keep your nose in line with the weights. Here we go. Good. Very nice. Good. Next exercise, pointing our legs out, pointing our toes, circles to the right with both our feet. Exercise. Good. Small little circles, doesn't have to be big. Toes are pointed, which means they're pointing away from you. Clockwise circles. And because the left side feels left out, we're going left now. Same thing, just going left. Counterclockwise. Small little circles. And you're saying, my stomach hurts. I know. And my legs are heavy. I know. You can do this. I wouldn't have anything that you need to do that I can't do or would hurt yourself. You can do this. Next exercise, sitting at the front of your chair, leaning back, legs are up and our shoulders are off of the chair. Hollow hold exercise. for 35 seconds. We're making our abs work. Yeah, I hate me too, I know, I know, I understand this. And you're saying it hurts, I know it does. That's why I make you do it. There's gotta be some method to my madness. Almost done. Sitting at the front of your chair, your heels are on the ground. Hands are up over our head. We're going to bend forward and touch our toes. Exercise. Go ahead. Bend down, touch your toes. Shoulders go back against the chair. Don't bounce off the chair. Lightly touch and come forward again. You'll be happy to know there's only one more exercise in this set. And our favorite, which is at least crunches, sitting at the front of our chair, we're doing a crunch, lift the leg, put it down, crunch, and lift the other leg. Here we go. One leg, then the other. Good. And you're meeting somewhere in the middle. It's not ballistic as opposed to slow and rhythmic. Ballistic means quick and fast. Slow and rhythmic is what we want to make our muscles work. Almost there. Then you got two minutes. 
Rest. Done. Two minute break. Tell me questions, thoughts, concerns. Lois, you okay? You got to unmute yourself if you want to talk to me. Di, the answer is absolutely yes. Um, and I will, in fact, I will stop the timer right now and tell everybody. So the question came to me about TMJ. So temporal bone is the side of your head. The mandible is your jaw. And where they meet in front of your ear is called the temporomandibular joint. People get it from stress, grinding their teeth, any and all chewing, talking too much like myself. Um, so what you do is take your fingertips and put them right on the cheeks. Now, bite down and you'll feel a group of muscles push out towards your fingers. You then relax your jaw and massage in a circular motion those muscles. You're gonna find a spot that hurts really good and just massage on it. The muscles are called the bitum muscles, the buccinator, the internal pterygoid, the external pterygoid, and the masseter. I went to school that day, I had to tell you. So it just massaging those muscles relaxes the TMJ, takes away the pain from the side to side, and um, will make you feel a whole lot better when you talk, chew, eat, sleep. Okay, let's continue with our break. We're only we're still in the break. I'm giving you a little extra break here. Yes. Not up by your ears, but on your cheeks. You'll feel them. Yeah, you'll feel those muscles and you'll feel them when you bite down. They'll push out against your fingers. Yeah. Cool. I have a question. No questions. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> when you do the crunch, do you go forward and then lift your leg or at the same time? So the the, same. That's called an Elise crunch. And that Elise Crunch is named after my fiance, who we all hate, by the way, because she makes us do this stupid stuff. So it is a crunch and lift the knee at the same time. So if, if you saw me from the side, yeah, I can. it would look like this. Oh, okay. Then we come back and then we lift the other leg. Okay. okay. Thank cool. you. No worries. Your allotment of questions is over for the day. You're done. <laughs> we just have a lot of fun here. We got 30 seconds before we start again. And this time we're going to go backwards in circles. We got a couple of seconds first because I had to give you a TMJ explanation. Hey, Jules. I saw the baby pictures. He's so cute. Julie is a new grandmother. Well, how many is this now? Four or five? There you go. So this is the first for this particular son and daughter-in-law. 10 seconds, here we go. Sit up nice and tall in your chair. Arms are out to the side. We're going backwards. Small little circles. Exercise. Small circles going backwards. Does not have to be fast. Good, you look great. Good. 10 more seconds. Rest. Back of our fists are together, hands go out and then back. Only thing moving is your elbows here, guys. Exercise. Good. And back. You'll notice I'm not using weights right now. You don't have to. I did a pretty good workout on biceps and triceps yesterday, and I'm a little sore. So I'm not using weights for this. Good. Look great, guys. Slow and rhythmic, time under tension. Rest. Good. We're doing Y lifts. Again, why? Because I said so. That's what we're doing. Okay. 
That's my mother always said to me. Exercise. Put a sweater on, I'm cold. There you go. That's what she would say. Good. Make sure your hands are out sort of at a 45 degree angle to make that Y shape if you're able. I don't want you hurting yourselves. Nice. Don't just drop your arms, bring your arms down. Good. You look great, guys. Love it. Dom, smile. I can see everyone. Good. Weight in the right hand. We're doing sort of those side crunches going towards our knee, not directly to your knee, sort of between your side and your knee. 45 degrees. Good. Does not have to be fast, just has to have perfect form. Good. You look good, guys. Good. Do not forget to breathe. Breathe out when you exert, breathe in on the way back. Good. Sitting at the front of your chair, Russian twists to the left. Keep your nose in line with the weights. Exercise. To the left only, to the left, to the left. To the left. Good. Very nice. Almost there. Good, weight is in your left hand, crunches to the left side. Weight just goes directly to the floor, shoulder goes towards that knee. So you're not actually lifting the weight other than keeping it in your hand. Good. Very nice. Right Russian twists. Those are RRTs for its friends. Right Russian twists. Exercise. To the right only. Good, you look good. Very nice. Sitting at the front of your chair, legs are up, toes are pointed. We're making a little bit bigger circles going to the right or clockwise. Just a little bit bigger. You can hold on to the chair so you have a little stability. Bigger circles are harder. Almost there. Almost there. Now we're doing the same thing going left in a little larger circle. Larger circles, counterclockwise. Again, you can hold on to the chair. You're working your lower abs right here, guys. Good. Mm. 
Legs are up, shoulders are off. We're doing a hollow hold. Here it is from the side. Legs are up, shoulders are up. Exercise. Hollow hold, it's called. Not touching the chair. Legs are up, so we're hollow in our body. You'll feel it in the front of your thighs. You'll feel it in your abs. Good, breathe. Good. Heels are out on the floor, arms are up over our head, toe touches. All the way down, touch your toes, sit back up. Please don't bounce off the chair. Hold from your belly button. Good. Remember, keep your head up. Look at everybody on the screen that's doing the same thing as you and saying, we hate you, Paul. I understand this. Low is his favorite exercise, the Elise Crunch. Sitting at the front of your chair, crunching forward, bringing a knee up, then the other knee. Crunch. Crunch. Very nice. Last exercise of set number two. Doing good, guys. Done, end of set two. Thoughts, concerns, questions of any kind, please feel free. Nice. Recovery. Go ahead, Elaine. Got to unmute yourself. A couple of the exercises, especially when we're up and we bend all the way down and yeah. mm -hmm. uh, what with the weights when we go down towards yep. the knee. Yep. Are we also stretching out the back muscles? Because that oh, feels absolutely. very good. That's why the 45 degree angle, because it stretches out those back muscles as well. Feels very 100%. good on my back. I need 100%. it. Thank you. Thank you. You're very good for balance. So remember, mm -hmm. I was going to incorporate balance exercises. So this not only works the oblique muscle, but you're stretching out the posterior muscles at the same time. So we can stand up straighter and feel better. Any other questions? Carla, smile. There you go. Not a girl. Richard's grumpy today. I don't know why. It's all good. See some Pesach. Hope everybody's Easter and Passover was good and healthy. Um, Jews around the world who are eating matzah and cream cheese will not be going to the bathroom for a month because it turns to cement. And uh, unfortunately, we have to eat all of that for a week or eight days. And uh, looking forward to the end. Although I made a killer matzah bride. For those of you who don't know, it's matzo with egg and in a fried egg. Oh, it's made a killer matzo price. It's cool. We got 40 seconds to go before we start set number three. I always make little alterations to the exercises. So I will tell you what's going on in a sec. Good. Good, good, good. Y'all look great. No questions. I got crickets, man. This is it. 20 seconds before we start. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to do forward circles, but in larger circles now. And here we start in five seconds. Little larger circles. Exercise. Good. Very nice. Yes, you may be hearing little crunches and clicks. That just lets us know that we're wearing out a little bit. It's totally benign, meaning it doesn't mean anything other than ligaments and tendons rubbing against bone. Kath, it's nice to see you. I'm tired of looking at Ted. <laughs> Good, very nice. 
tricep extensions. I'm going to do it from the side here. When you go out, let your hands come out in a fan portion. It works more of the muscle. Exercise. Fan your hands. Thumbs are down towards the ground. There you go. You'll feel it more. Very nice, Veronica. You're doing great. Nice. Good. I'm tired of making Y's, so we're going to make W's. Your head is the center of the W. And we're just bending our arms and bringing them up. Exercise. W. W. Good. You guys are all very good looking W. Nice. Excellent, guys. You look great. Good. Rest. Right arm with your weight, 45 degrees towards that knee, crunching, stretching on our back muscles, and working our obliques. Exercise. Yeah. Down, good. Crunching here, stretching out the back on the opposite side. Good, keep your heads up. Ted, you're back, I missed you. Good, you guys look good. Sitting at the front of our chair, Russian twists to the left. Keep your nose in line with the weights. Turn your shoulders. Exercise. Only your upper body is moving. Your lower body is sitting still in the chair. Good. Looking good. Weight in your left hand, going towards your left knee. Here we go. Exercise. Nice. I like it. Nice. You're crunching the left, stretching out the back right. Good, Russian twists to the right, sitting at the front of your chair, leaning back, nose in line with the weights, turning your shoulders to the right. Exercise. And only to the right. Good. Very nice. Legs are out straight, making small circles again, going only to the right. Small circles. Exercise. Small circles. Clockwise, small circles. Good. Looking good. Yeah. 
Almost done. To the left this time, same thing, going to the left. Here we go. Small circles to the left. Yes, your stomach is starting to hurt, I know, it's okay. Hollow hold is next. Legs are up, shoulders are off the chair. Hollow hold is next. Here we go. Exercise. Good. Creating a hollow. So if you were a soup bowl, we could put soup in you. Breathe normally. Heels are on the ground, arms are overhead, toe touches it is. Breathe out when you come forward. And in when you come back. Deflating the lungs as you breathe out allows you to come forward deeper and easier. Nice and easy. One more exercise of this set. And Elise crunches. Crunch, lift the knee, crunch, lift the other knee. Crunch, lift the knee. Crunch, lift the other knee. Nice and easy. Nothing has to be fast. Just perfect form affecting the muscles that we're trying to do for a specific exercise. This works both the upper and lower abs at the same time. End to set three. We only got one more to go. Everybody still with me? Just give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're still alive. That's good. I like it. Good job. Cool. Um, Lynn, Lois may never be talking to you again. So just letting you know, uh, there is an issue. Uh, <laughs> drinking some water is a good idea. I would suggest it. Staying hydrated is important. Guys, the weather is drastically changing. We were going from 40. This week, we're going to 80. We're losing a lot of fluids in our body. I can't tell you enough. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And hydration also will clear your sinuses out, by the way. So you can breathe easier. The pollen count is off the charts. Uh, it seems to be getting that way every year. Um, well, I have a quick question. I'm sorry, there are no questions today. Go ahead, okay. I'm sorry. No, when you're doing, uh, this, when you're pointing your legs straight and doing the circles. Yeah. Okay, I feel it on the top of my thighs, is that? Absolutely, you should, okay. you're holding your legs up. Okay, just wanna make sure. Yeah. Thanks. No worries, no worries, it's all good, all good. So yeah, hydrate, the way you know you drank enough, uh, and I'm not trying to be graphic here, but you're peeing clear. Uh, just a slight tinge of yellow, not bright yellow. Uh, how you know you have enough water in your system. The other way to tell is if you grab and make a pinch of your skin and let go and it returns to its normal place, 
it's good. If it stays up for any period of time, that means your turgor, meaning the amount of water you have within your skin is not sufficient, okay? So you need to have elasticity and let it snap back. Here we go, guys. Backward circles large. Last set, make it your best set. Exercise. Large backward circles. And again, it does not have to be fast, just perfect. Good. Looking great, guys. And I know you're here on the crunches. I get it. Horizontal tricep extensions are next. Back of our fists, flare our hands. Thumbs are pointing down. Exercise. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Good. Very nice. Bring your fist back together, then your thumbs go down. Good. We're making W's again, guys, W's. Your head is the center of the W. Here we go. Exercise. W. I look cockeyed here. Oh, okay, good. It was the angle at which the camera was looking at me. I always thought my arm was in the wrong position. Good, breathe. Squeeze your shoulder blades when you bring your arms up. That's good for your back and posture as well. Good. Right hand, right weight going towards the right knee. Let the weight just hang. Good. And again, your head stays up. Good. Good. Crunching down on the side, stretching the left side. Russian twists to the left. The song that's playing right now is Miley Cyrus. You know you're destined for greatness when Dolly Parton is your godmother. Exercise. Turn to the left. Jennifer Aniston can say the same because her godfather was Telly Savalas. These are all things you can do at a cocktail party. Just tell all these stupid things that I tell. Left hand, left weight is going towards the left knee. And I'll tell you another thing you could tell at a cocktail party. Exercise. Good. A human being has seven bones in their neck. How many does a giraffe have? I will tell you in a second. It's like a Jeopardy question. So I've gotten answers anywhere from 100 to 50 to 20. The answer is seven, they're just larger. Russian twists to the right. Last time you gotta do this today. To the right.
Keep your nose in line with the waist. Don't forget to breathe. Five exercises to go. Legs are up, toes are pointed, bigger circles going clockwise. Bigger circles. Good. Last time you gotta do this. You will feel it in the front of your thighs, you'll feel it in your lower abs. You will hate me in the process, but you'll look a whole lot better when you look in the mirror. Almost done. Same thing going to the left or counterclockwise. Here we go. Exercise. Bigger circle. Good. Last time for these. Almost done. Hollow hold, sitting at the front of your chair, feet are up. Shoulders are off the chair. Here we go. Last hollow hold you have to do today. If you can suck in your stomach a little bit, it makes it work even more. Breathe. Feet are out on your heels, hands are over your head. Breathe out when you come forward, breathe in when you go back, toe touches. Exercise. Touch those toes. Don't bounce off the chair, touch the chair. Pull from your belly button. Good, you look great, guys. Very proud of you. And the last exercise, Elise crunches. And then we'll be done. Here we go. Exercise. Crunch, lift the leg. Crunch, lift the other leg. Good. Very nice. Ten seconds. And then you'll be done. Outstanding, guys. You did it. Four sets. Killer workout. You did great. Arms, shoulders, chest, abs, legs by holding them up. You did fantastic. Questions, thoughts, concerns.